Hi, this is Joshua Stolman from BrooklynComicShop.com, your place for vintage comic books, signed exclusive, original artwork, prints, toys, play sets, and much more. Today we're going to continue taking a look at the Golden Age collection we had recently required. Uh, last week we gave you a preview of the superhero books. Today we're going to take a look at some of the Archie comics and really just more or less a little bit of the history of Archie. Uh, you can see many of the Golden Age books we got were from the 1950-1951, the earlier set. The uh, What you're looking at right now is an Archie book number 77, so it's a code issue, which means it's around 1955. Uh, it happens to be an earlier code issue. You can see the month is November to December underneath it, so I believe this was published uh, every every other month. Uh, and the cover price, of course, 10 cents because it's a Golden Age book. Um, here you see uh, the Archie-Veronica relationship. Uh, Archie is not, it wasn't the original mainstay of the company. Uh, the company began uh, as MLJ. Um, J was, I think, uh, John Goldwater, who later became the main publisher of Archie. Uh, but MLJ uh, did everything in the 1940s. They did superhero books. They had one of the first patriotic superheroes, uh, Irv Novik Shield, which came out before Captain America. You had uh, horror books, you had everything uh, really in between. But uh, what they settled on was Archie, which debuted in Pep Comics uh, number 22 in the early 40s. And so as time went on, the war ended, everything kind of shifted, and you had Archie really become the mainstay of the company. And what we have here is Archie's main book, Archie number 77, which has the Betty Veronica, a couple of jokes on the front. This would be Archie's main book, and it's in really nice condition. It's definitely a mid-grade copy. You don't see any tears, no rips, no holes, no real writing, except there may be on some of these. I'll show you there. There's a, um, a pharmacy or distributor date, which is something that would have happened the time the comic book was issued. Here's an example of it right here. Um, but Archie supported a couple of different different lines. He was very popular in the 1950s, and he's really he really typifies the 1950s spirit. So going to the, the soda shops, uh, listening to rock and roll on the jukebox, the dress. This was all in keeping with the style of the times, and it really appear, appealed to the younger the younger generation, the generation that had grown up from cartoon books that was now maybe. 10, 11, 12, starting to see some of these things in regular life and having fun. These all emphasize lightheartedness and fun. Laugh is this one of the other titles. Um, there's going to be a couple that I'm going to show you, just examples of the different titles. One thing that is kind of interesting because I'm sure they were well aware they were dealing with young adolescents is you're going to see Betty and Veronica look a little bit more, um, I don't know, shapely. Archie's going to look like a fool. He's going to look a little bit like a, like an innocent kind of cartoon character. But when Bob Montana, who's the Archie co-creator, is drawing women, he's drawing them to be shapely. I mean, he knows what he's doing. And it's not exactly subversive. It's just, you know, appealing that he's doing it to the, to the taste of the time. Um, and that's why all the jokes are very fun about romance. Although we'll show you some that are, that are really funny. Um, so Laugh was another series that we did. Uh, MLJ, I'm still I think it's called MLJ at this time. And here you can see this is also a really nice mid-grade copy. It's pretty flat. No, no cutouts, no tears. I mean, this came from a childhood collector. To find some of these books in nice condition is really something. Um, this is one of my favorite covers. It's really one that, that to me screams iconic Archie. It's Archie Annual Number 4. Uh, this, I think, was 1952 or 1951. They don't have the date on the outside, so you really have to look in. Bob Montana, the original artist, did the cover. Um, here you actually have a good description of the whole relationship in one, one shot. You got Archie looking at, at, at Veronica. Veronica more concentrated on, you know, what, what's making her happy, which is the, uh, the milkshake or the soda. She's not even paying attention to Archie. Uh, and then you've got... Um, Betty just just over the moon for Archie and Archie doesn't even know it and then you got Jughead just the bystander in the whole book just observing it all just pointing it out to the reader just how ridiculous it is um, but this is one of these thick books this was an annual 
So you can see how thick it is. The spine, you know, is going to have a little bit of roll to it. But uh, other than that, condition is really nice. The tape was removed. It didn't take off any of the color, but you get some a little bit of residue. So, um, and and really, what do you have? A little bit of writing here to make it ten cents so that they could sell it. Probably, uh, probably at the time too. Uh, but another great example of nineteen uh, fifties Archie. Here we have Archie's joke book number one. This was this is a great. You can already see the sense of style that they have here that they're using. Um, but Archie was again became so insanely popular with the the growing generation, growing up from superhero books. They really the Archie company MLJ just dropped their superhero line. I don't believe they had much of a western line. They really just focused on diversifying Archie and really pumping it out. And one of the reasons they did it was because they were so popular that people were copying them. So you had you had other characters coming in from from um, from DC from Marvel. You had, um, many, but, uh, what Archie did is they just kind of diversified their humor titles. So Archie had a couple of different things. Then you had Archie's girls, Betty and Veronica. This is number two. This definitely has a little bit of condition issue, which you can see on the side, but the book is complete. It's still attached, um, at the bottom staple and no writing on it. So, I mean, it's a really nice reading copy, but still one of these key, uh, golden age books. It's a pre-code book. You have a little bit of, of uh, Betty and Veronica talking about all the guys in their life. This is my favorite cover. Betty and Veronica number three. I don't know what happened in the Tunnel of Love, but uh, Betty is like completely done. She, she is out of it. Um, but again, this one's in much better condition than number two. Number three is really nice and has a great fun cover to it. Diversifying yet again. Let's take a look at Archie when he's little. So then they did a Little Archie, which is really kind of a reference to um, Little Dot, Lulu, a lot of those um, cartoon characters that had, um, that really were for a younger generation, but maybe, maybe if you weren't old enough to be interested in Archie, maybe you'd do Little Archie. And this is a giant, this is a thick book. Also, it's really well done, uh, well kept, and you can see the, uh, the binding here is nice. Uh, some of the other titles they put out at the same time. Uh, this one, I'm probably going to submit the CGC because I feel like it is really high grade. Uh, Archie's rival Reggie, this is issue number nine, where Reggie's buttoning in on, on uh, Veronica. And you see Archie's reaction here. Another great comic in really nice condition. Um, so the, silver, so the uh, Golden and Silver Age uh, collection really yielded some nice pieces. Um, it gives you a little bit of the history of what was going on in the 1950s with Archie and just how popular the character was then. And, and you can see now how much it's changed. Um, and Archie still changes with the times. So his costuming will change. The uh, cars will change. Scenery will change situations. But at the end of the day, uh, Archie is Archie. And it's always going to appeal to, um, to the teenage spirit. And whether it's on the uh, whether, whether it's the Riverdale show on TV now or whether you're looking at books from 50 years ago, I mean, there's always something to appreciate about Archie. If you'd like to get a chance to own some of these books, they're going to be going up on our website, brooklyncomicshop.com. You can check us out again for vintage, golden, silver age, modern books, signed exclusives, figures, play sets, original artwork, and prints. Thanks for watching.